Welcome to another edition of Fitness Friday. I'm Erica Fernandez, and today I'm here with Kelly Lake from Bay Athletic Club. Kelly, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me, Erica. Absolutely. So, um, as we all know, healthy living is not just um, maintained in the gym. You have to also watch what you're putting into your bodies. So, Absolutely. tell us a little bit about kind of how we can maintain a healthy lifestyle in the kitchen as well. Absolutely, let's get fit in the kitchen. So we start out with lentils. Um, I've, I've cooked them already. They're, they're super quick, easy to make. They just take a little bit of water, um, and then I cook them with some Herbs de Provence. This is a uh, herb blend, you can find it just about anywhere. Onion powder, salt, pepper. Super fast, easy, takes about 15 minutes. Um, and then you just put it in the refrigerator and you know put it away until you're ready to assemble your dish. And you can put whatever ingredients you want to, whatever you have in your kitchen, your refrigerator. Um, and what I had in my refrigerator today were some really yummy ingredients that go really well together. So let's um, get started with those vegetables. We have a tomato, we're gonna chiffonade some um, spinach, zest a lemon, I have some Kalamata olives, and goat cheese to put it all together. Okay, well let's, let's get, get started. started. Um, so, for this tomato, you don't need the whole thing, um, but you're going to just make big slices. Look for, a, you know, you can use whatever you have on hand. This is what I had on hand, but if you use a bigger tomato, you don't want big chunks like this because the lentils are really small. You want everything to be about the same size. So just make little slices, turn, chunk it like that, and there you have it. Just some easy diced tomatoes. From there, we're gonna shift and add some spinach. And what you do with spinach to shift and add it is you stack them, one on top of another, like that, okay? And you can do more than this, but just for demonstration purposes, you wanna take a few, mm -hmm. and then you roll it, so it's in a little envelope of its own, okay? okay. And then slice it right down the length of that leaf roll. And that produces little ribbons of spinach. Ooh, <laughs> getting all over the place. Um, and again, just like we diced the tomatoes, here, give it a try, okay? Um, just like we wanted to dice the tomatoes so that they're smaller, everything is trying to be about the same size. So it'll all go together with those lentils in the end. And I made a perfectly Yay. green ribbon. Yay. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Chiffonade um, is all that means, and that's actually the translation is little ribbons. Um, that's a, a French technique and a French word. So Perfect. we're going to impart some flavor into this dish. There's already lots of flavor from the herbs and from the, um, the vegetables, but we really want that fresh zest of right. lemon. So we're actually going to zest a lemon. Who to thunk? <laughs> so we take our zester, okay. it's just um, a typical microplane, and you hold it with the um, open side up, and then you hold it against that lemon firmly, pull it across, and you don't need to push too hard, but you don't want to push so hard and, and keep going over the so, same area of the lemon that the white shows really, really white through that lemon. Because that, what you're getting into then is the pith, um, and the pith is bitter. We want just that the zest, the, just the lemon part. That fresh smell that I'm mm -hmm. smelling. It <laughs> smells really, really good. And it tastes really great too. And we don't always just taste with our palate or with our tongue. Mm -hmm. We also taste with our, our sense of smell. So this is a really important step. So lemon okay. goes great with um, spinach, and it goes great with tomatoes. It also goes really, really well with these briny, earthy Kalamata olives. They still have a pit in them, so you can get them de-pitted if you can only find the whole. Um, just make a little slice in your Kalamata olive. So you just take, cut it down, and then use your fingers to pry that little pit out of the Kalamata. And then just make a few chops, and you're ready to assemble your dish. Okay. So now that we've finished preparing the salad, Kelly, I'm noticing that this isn't your typical lettuce-based salad. Mm -hmm. Right. That's why it's, it's so nice to change it up. You know, a lot of salads you always think of, it just has to be a green salad with romaine or spinach as the base. We can still have our greens in there, so it's still healthy. We get that superfood from the spinach, but we have something that's maybe a little bit more satisfying. It's, it's why it's one of my favorites, because it's a good transition from you know the end of summer into the fall, where you want something a little bit warmer, something a little bit more satisfying, but you still get all of the um, really fresh ingredients that are ripe right now. Right, and so let's go ahead and add some dressing on it, and yep. then it'll be done. Right? Just like a salad, it's still a salad. You have to dress it, so we put a little bit of the, the lemon juice 
and then now this is just olive oil. Um, you just mix that together with all the flavors and you have your own vinaigrette. All right. So you're not wasting any, any ingredients, it's all in there. Okay, so now that we've finished preparing the salad with the lemon zest and the dressing, it looks so good and I can't wait to try it. Well, I think that you should try it. <laughs> right. Please do. What do you think? It's so like fresh. All the flavors really mix, mix well together. Excellent. That's so good. Yay. I really well, love it. It have to be on your go-to um, lunches. I know you're a busy woman, so and you're living on your own, this can be yeah. one of those healthy meals that you yeah. can prepare and for yourself. It's so easy, quick and easy to make and on the go and you can eat it anytime. Perfect. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you so much for being thank here, you. Kelly. Thank Thanks you. for watching another edition of Fitness Friday. Stay tuned because sports is next.